A new study from the University of British Columbia has found that southern resident killer whales have not had enough food for several years. Researchers found that fluctuating salmon populations had a detrimental effect on the whale's health, threatening what is already a small and fragile group. The study's lead researcher says the whales won't be able to survive many more rough years. The animals feed on Chinook salmon, but Chinook numbers have decreased, even as fishing regulations attempt to bolster them. That leaves animals high in the food chain without adequate prey. Joining us now to unpack this situation is Ms. Fanny Couture, lead researcher and PhD candidate at the UBC's Institute for the Oceans and Fish News. Welcome to Forum Daily. Thank you very much for having me. Can you unpack the main findings of the study for our viewers? Sure. So. What we did in that study is that we tried to compare how much food did the southern residents kill well need with how much food was available to them. Mm. And what we found is that they were in energetic deficit for six of the last 40 years. By energetic deficit here, we mean that the whales did not have enough to eat, basically, enough kilocalories. So a human needs, an average adult human needs about 2,000 kilocalories a day. A whales need about 170,000 kilocalories a day. And we found that for six of the last 40 years, the whales did not have those amount of calories. So what are some of the causes for these fluctuating salmon populations? So this is a, a question that still needs to be answered. We have several hypotheses on what is happening to the salmon population, but we know that it's probably a mix of those different factors. One of the reasons could be uh, the predation by other marine animals that uh, includes marine mammals, such as harbor seals and stellar lion, but that also potentially includes other animals that research is not focusing on at the moment. We also know that climate change could have an impact, an impact through uh, the rising temperature of the seawater and uh, freshwater uh, water as well, and the prevalence of diseases for salmon populations as well. So there's potential potentially several factors that affect those salmon populations. So have the attempts of fishing regulators to boost the salmon populations made any noticeable impact so far? Yes, this is true. Um, so the fishing restrictions started in the 1980s and we observed really drastic commercial fishing restriction in the mid 1990s. But so far, all of those fishing restrictions have not managed to reverse the decline that we see in those Chinook populations. According to the research too, they, they say these whales have not had access to enough food for several years now, as you've shared. Why do you think this went unnoticed until recently? I, I believe that it was, it, was, um, it was thought that by many researchers that it was the case. Uh, many researchers in Canada and in the US are looking at the body conditions of those whales and what they found is that those whales have been getting skinnier. They've been losing their fat reserves. So it was highly hypothesized that this lowering in body condition was associated with a decline in food resource. So, um, but what this, go ahead. Go ahead, no. Go. So, but what this study shows is that it's, it could actually be the case that the whales have been hungry for several years, uh, including the last three years, 2018 to 2020. So in that case, what actions can be taken to help boost the food supply before the situation grows worse for southern resident killer whales? So I guess before answering this question, what we really need to answer uh, is what are the primary factors mm. impacting those Chinook salmon population? And so far we have all those factors, but we don't know which one will be the primary cause of the decline for the salmon population. And more research is needed to determine what are the primary factor, and one, we will have the answer to that question, okay, what can we do about enhancing the salmon populations? Mm -hmm. So where can we find out some more information about the situation, about the study? So you can find uh, a lot of information about the Southern Resident Skill Whale on the Center for Whale Research uh, website, which is uh, an American organization on, in the Washington state. And then you can find this study online as well in the public library uh, for science. And uh, you can just access this study. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for having me. Have a great day.